We're missing the one I just created, Pipe Identifier. Let's click in the graphic area to close the table. Expand tables in the tree. Right click on our design table. Select Edit Table. I'm going to select the Pipe Identifier parameter and click OK. And let's just make the table a little bit bigger. I'll stretch out the column width so it's a little easier to see. I'm going to create one more configuration by copying and pasting this row below. I'll just change some of the data. We'll call it 2 inches. So that'll be the name of the configuration. This one will be 3 inches. In our second configuration, let's change some of the diameter values as well. 3.1, 3.4, and 3 inches for the nominal diameter. Click outside the table to update and accept the new table. SolidWorks lets us know that the design table generated the following configurations, 2 inches and 3 inches. Let's click OK. At this point, we actually don't need the default configuration anymore, so we can delete that. Right-click, Delete. Yes to confirm. For demonstration purposes, let's also change some colors. First, I'm going to check Link Display State to Configurations. Now let's right-click on this face and select Appearances. Scroll down to the Part level. I'll select red, and I'll apply it to this display state only. Click OK.